हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सर्किटरी सिंप्लीफाइड बाय डॉक्टर शोभा निकम बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन ह्योर इन दिस वीडियो आई एल टॉक अबाउट इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ मॉड एन एन काउंटर यूजिंग आई सी सेवन फोर एल एस नाइन जीरो बेसिकली सेवन फोर नाइन जीरो इज डी केड काउंटर इट इज अ बी सी डी काउंटर and it is a ripple counter ripple counter means it is a synchronous counter so internally it has mod 2 section and mod 5 section mod 2 section has one clock input clock a output of mod 2 section is qa whereas in mod 5 section clock input is clock b and it has three outputs qb qc and qd to implement decade counter we need to connect output of mod 2 section to mod 5 section so always qa is connected to clock b this is pin diagram of ic7490 this is clock a clock input to mod 2 section clock b clock input to mod 5 section r1 and r2 are reset pins pin number 4 is not connected vcc pin number 6 and 7 are set pins qa qb qc and qd are outputs here pin number 13 is not connected and pin number 10 is ground so here maximum we can this is bcd counter so maximum we can count up to 9 or maximum it can count 10 clock pulses so i'll show you implementation of mod n n counter mod n n means maximum it will display count 99 so it can count 100 clock pulses 0 to 99 i'll take simple example of Oh, let's take an example of mod forty-two counter. So here we need to take one IC for two. We need to take another IC for four. So I'll draw two ICs. Here to implement mod forty-two, we need two ICs. So I have taken two ICs. so i need one ic to display lsb and another ic to display msb so i'll use this for lsb for 2 and this for msb for 4 so the ic which we will use to display least significant bit will receive external clock so i'll connect external clock here pin number 14 of my first ic then this is ripple counter it means output of first flip flop will act as clock input or will be connected to clock input of second flip flop so i'll connect qa to clock b similarly here also this qa will get connected to clock b next is reset pins are connected to ground pin number 6 and 7 pin number 6 and 7 to ground here also then binary equivalent of 2 is 0 0 0 and and binary equivalent of 4 is 0 1 0 0 so this counter will count mod 42 means it will count total 42 clock pulses so count is from 0 to 41 so as soon as these numbers will become 4 and 2 our ic will reset so reset pins must receive 1 reset pins must receive one 
when this number will become 4 and when this number will become 2. So here I will take QC because QC needs to be 1 for 4 and here QB must be 1. I will connect both of them to input of AND gate. So when QC will become 1 and QD will become, one, will become 1, output of this AND gate will become 1. And I will connect this output of AND gate to reset pins. So as soon as this number will become 4 and this number will become 2, the reset pins will receive 1. But then what about clock A? This entire circuitry is again ripple counter. So last output of first IC, this is my first IC which is used to display least significant bit. So last output is QD, MSB is, MSB is QD. So this QD will get connected to clock 8.